I know they said two, but these are fun. I still want to know what I want a guinea pig size something of. I had a guinea pig. Did you? His name was Didn't. I don't know why. I named him Didn't. Oh, and my mother would say, well, what didn't he do? And I'd say, well, he didn't do anything. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. He was very affectionate. The hardest part is remembering everything we did 20 <laughs> years ago. Can't People are so asking questions and I'm thinking, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> so that's a lot of it. It is, it's 20 years it's ago. It's 20 years ago, it is a lot. It's, but it's also fun kind of jumping back into that world because yeah. then it's, you almost get to, you're almost like a fan again. You get to yeah. go back and kind of, oh, then, then it's the, oh, I remember that, I remember that, I remember. And then the stories come back and then you, you kind of remember that kind of it's thing. It's like earlier, you were talking about the guest stars that we had, William H. Macy, John yeah. Ritter. I completely forgot what an incredible lineup yeah. of guest stars this show had. Yeah, and it was awesome. It was amazing. Yeah. And then there's such, as they say in Fight Club, single serving friends, where you're sitting next to somebody who you've admired forever for four hours. And then you don't see them ever again. But you get that four-hour block of like, I'm with William H. Macy for four hours. I'm with yeah. John Ritter for four hours. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing where it's like, I get my one little piece with all these people that I've, I've, I've admired so much. Terry Garr. You know, I got to work oh, with Terry Garr. Yeah. For, she came on for, what, six, seven, eight episodes, something like that, did the movie. And so it, just sitting there going, I, you know, I worked with Terry Garr. I mean, things like that are, are incredible. And then you kind of forget about them, and then you come back and you get to experience them again. But then you got to work with me every day. That over and over and over was one of the it harder parts of the series. I know. One of the one of the harder <laughs> parts. <laughs> No. I'm the big guy here. And you know what? And he absolutely I could have. have. He could have and should have. I should have. He took pity on an actor who had never done an animated series, and he completely helped me every every okay. time we were there. So, man, he could have. Totally could have pulled the Batman card, and he never did. You made my life so much more rich, I tell you. But you, it was interesting. There was an interesting dynamic. It's an interesting question. I flashed at that moment when you started doing the show. On uh, Batman the Animated Series, Adam West came on and did the voice of the Grey Ghost. And I was really nervous the day he came in, because I was like, I'm stepping on this guy's cowl. You know, this is his territory. And he sensed that. And he couldn't have been more gracious, and he said, look, I had a blast playing the role. It's your turn now. Run with it, have fun with it. And it was interesting, when Will came on, I had the same instinct to sort of say, look, it's your turn now. You know, it's your turn to run with it. It's fun. It was awesome. I also, though, got the, the, the privilege of still getting to work with him every day. I mean, it wasn't one of those things where, oh, it's yours now, you go and you do your thing. I got to sit there and learn from, from Batman. I mean, from yeah. Kevin. Everybody always says, who's your favorite Batman? And there's one Batman. He's, it's uh, Kevin. So to, to be able to have that that's my every boy. week, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but to have that every week, I mean, come on. Nobody gets to experience that. You never, you never have that happen. So yeah, that was awesome. Oh, you totally could have hazed me. You never do. Oh. Come on! <laughs> Man, you're something. I've never seen anyone. Well, that's how they uh, approached me about it, was that it was already uh, being thought of that way. So I don't know if it had always been a part of it, but once I was approached about it, it was. But it was a strange conversation, because they said, well, we've got a new show, we want you to be a part of it, you're going to be Bruce Wayne, but you're 80. And I said, wait a minute, I'm 40. <laughs> How rough is this town? This is a Hollywood. You hit 40 and they start casting you as an old daughtery man. Yeah, I'm old Bruce Wayne. And I say, I'm not too young to do this. So, but I was happy to have the job. Which is funny because I'm 42 and they just, we can now announce Batman Beyond Beyond, where Terry is now <laughs> 80 years old and there's a new guy, Kyle or something, who's coming in. <laughs> I'm now 80 years old. And I Bruce can be the grandfather. He's 211. Be grandfather. And we're excited to uh, hey, 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 hey. set for Batman Beyond. Hey, Terry, get on with the show, will you?
It's mind over matter. I hate it when you blitz me like that. Just see what you can find. You. Looks like school's out. Maybe you can tell me what's going on. <laughs> no, uh, I remember just sitting there going, they're not gonna get it. I've never done animation before. Who's gonna want me to play Batman? Just coming off of Batman the Animated Series, which to me is arguably the greatest animated series of all time. It's the same crew, it's the same, it's Kevin. I don't have a chance at this, so I'll just go in, I'll read. I think I was one of the few people that that didn't that differentiated between Terry's voice and and when he was Batman, um, and I just kind of went in and went thanks, and then walked out knowing that I didn't have a prayer. So the the second when they booked me, I assumed they called the wrong person. I still think they're going to recast me. I think that every day. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, just to have been able that to do is, it. Is pretty that amazing. is so interesting because I just realized it, Batman was the first animated character I ever auditioned for. Me too. Isn't that bizarre? See. That is crazy. That's awesome. I had never auditioned for an anime. Yeah. Me neither. I know I get millions of voice actors out there hate both of you. Millions of voice actors out there. You're saying dad though. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, believe me. There are a lot of actors that hate my guys. <laughs> I know that. Can you believe it? They want to keep me in here overnight. Why don't you relax and make it a little vacation? And while you're here, I'll figure out who that guy in the suit was. So you're a detective now. Been watching you long enough. Besides, I got a lead. Well, I want to see Will Friedle in your role, and I want to see Kevin Conroy in my yes! role. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Come on, don't... No, okay, my role, I think it would be great if it was Michael Caine. Michael Caine? Interesting. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. You know who I have for your role? Honestly? Clint Eastwood. Oh God! Yeah, I think he'd be really, really cool. Yeah, he'd be cool. That kind That's of old Bruce Wayne. And a uh, very unpopular answer, but um, everybody keeps throwing out names for Terry, and the names they throw out are mid twenties. Like Terry is seventeen; he needs to be seventeen. It's important that he's seventeen. He's a teenager. Um, and that's an important part of the role. I would go cast somebody completely new. I would go find an actor that is coming up, and I would go put the cowl on him and see what happens. I've been hearing these voices. I know. Wow. I'll do one, you do one. Ready? I'll do the first one. Okay. The best 90s TV show theme song was Boy Meets World. Ooh. All the seasons of it, because we kept changing the theme song, so it wasn't very good. I had my first kiss in a high school production of Romeo and Juliet. Your first kiss was on stage? On stage. Wow. And it was a hot one, let me tell you. 